Hello everyone, in this video I would like to show the text-to-speech software for the Philippine and Filipinian language. In our text-to-speech software, as I have mentioned probably in other videos if you have seen, it's a text-to-speech software bridge between the technologies of Amazon Web Services, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud and IBM. You can sign up easily for free. I will leave down in the description the link so that you can access, try it. You get 300 credits to test out. And once you're signed in, it's really easy to use. You will have here the platform and we can start searching here for the various languages that we have available. In the case of Philippines, we have English Philippines, but in some cases in the English, they, there are not that much difference between the English from USA or from other countries. As technologies will keep improving, of course, I do think that they will get closer. But let's listen. So you are the ones who are the judge. And please say, what do you think about the different accents and languages that are available? So let's listen to the female voice. Here we have Microsoft Azure. So let's listen. Hello. You can use any of our voices to synthesize your text as needed. Add additional build-in voice effects to further enhance your speech, and also you can use neural voices to make your speech sound as if it was pronounced by a live human being. We hope you will enjoy our service. Now the male voice. Hello, you can use any of our voices to synthesize your text as needed. Add additional build-in voice effects to further enhance your speech. And also you can use neural voices to make your speech sound as if it was pronounced by a live human being. We hope you will enjoy our service. And for this type of English, I haven't talked directly to a Philippine, but I don't think that's probably the 100% accent. And as mentioned, they, I do think and believe that eventually with time that Technologies will keep improving, but if you want to have also some other ling English language, also we, we have here the English from USA or from the UK that are even more accurate. Now let's listen to the Filipino languages and we have Microsoft Azure and Google Cloud. So let's do the comparison and you will be also judging which one is better. Kumusta? Maaari mong gamitin ang alinman sa aming mga boses upang isynthesize ang iyong teksto kung kinakailangan. Magdagdag ng karagdagang pagbuo sa mga epekto ng boses upang higit na mapahusay ang iyong pagsasalita at maaari mo ring gamitin ang mga neural na boses upang gawing tunog ang iyong pagsasalita na parang binibigkas ito ng isang buhay na tao. Sana ay masiyahan ka sa aming serbisyo. Now the male boys. Kumusta? Maari mong gamitin ang alinman sa aming mga boses upang isynthesize ang iyong teksto kung kinakailangan. Magdagdag ng karagdagang pagbuo sa mga epekto ng boses upang higit na mapahusay ang iyong pagsasalita at maari mo ring gamitin ang mga neural na boses upang gawing tunog ang iyong pagsasalita na parang binibigkas ito ng isang buhay na tao. Sana ay masiyahan ka sa aming serbisyo. Now let's compare with the Google Cloud. Kumusta? Maaari mong gamitin ang anuman sa aming mga tinig upang masynthesize ang iyong teksto kung kinakailangan. Magdagdag ng karagdagang pagbuo ng mga epekto sa boses upang higit na mapagbuti ang iyong pagsasalita, at maaari mo ring gamitin ang mga neural na boses upang mabigyang tunog ang iyong pagsasalita na parang binibigkas ng isang buhay na tao. Inaasahan namin na masisiyahan ka sa aming serbisyo. And now the male voice. Kumusta? Maaari mong gamitin ang anuman sa aming mga tinig upang masynthesize ang iyong teksto kung kinakailangan. Magdagdag ng karagdagang pagbuo ng mga epekto sa boses upang higit na mapagbuti ang iyong pagsasalita at maaari mo ring gamitin ang mga neural na boses upang mabigyang tunog ang iyong pagsasalita na parang binibigkas ng isang buhay na tao. Inaasahan namin na masisiyahan ka sa aming serbisyo. So, what do you think? The Microsoft Azure, I do personally think that they are a little bit less robotic. They are not probably 100% a human voice, but they are human-like or getting closer to be human voices. So once we are fine, we can just select the voice and start typing the different 
and start typing the text that we want to create. I will just use an example. Here we can create projects so that the audios that we are creating are saved in the kind of a folder for organization purposes. And we have here the controls that will help us to change the variation of how the of how the voices are being set or the numbers in the case as the volume, the speed, the pitch and pauses. In case of the pitch, I recommend to use the extremes so that the sound actually looks different. Sometimes it doesn't have that much of a difference. And also with pauses, if you want to add some time in between. So I will just add my text. And once we are fine with the text, I recommend to synthesize directly so that you can have already the file to be downloaded. And once it's synthesized, we can listen the preview or download directly the file. Hi, I am Carlos Barraza. I live in Mexico. This is a text-to-speech software. And we can be creating audios and uh, different and converting all the different text to speech so that we can be creating that voices that we want to use for plenty of projects. It can be audiobooks, it can be videos for YouTube, for TikTok, or for any other social media platform like Instagram Reels. There are some use cases that are for the for corporations or for some phone answer machines. So it will be a part of the creativity. We also recommend to use to use it in an ethical way and a responsible way. So this is our text-to-speech software. If you have some questions or comments, please write down. Thanks for watching. <laughs>